Because it's like, yeah, you do fight people who know about the metaverse, bruh. <laughs> Hi, hey Speb. Welcome to the stream where Comcast doesn't want me to stream. Because that's the mood of the day. <laughs> So we probably won't be going much longer just because I'm dropping so many frames and stream file died. If, if that's why probably everyone's getting like a bajillion notifications because I have to restart the stream every time something goes wrong, which is like the third time now. So again, apologies for notification spam potentially. Um, yeah, we're just doing Wind Waker. We're having a good uh, run, I think. Other than connectivity issues. I really like this game. <gasps> Couldn't you tell? Um, but yeah, I haven't really learned this game. That's something I'd like to do some days. Like, hardcore memorize all the ins and outs of Wind Waker and try to do like a any percent. Everyone <laughs> except. Um, wow, that's depressing. But also not entirely surprising, <laughs> if I'm being honest. From what I gather, PQ2 is kind of hard. Uh... Oh, come on. <laughs> Really? Okay, I need to back up. Oh, I think I know what happens to Yosuke from one of the trailers. I'm not gonna say, but I think I know what Labyrinth you're in then. Dinosaurs, yep, that's the one. All I'm gonna say on the matter. <laughs> oh, also, dinosaurs. <laughs> you know, of course, because of course. <laughs> um. Hey, piece of heart. Now to tiptoe out of here and move on. Tomorrow, uh, is Saturday, so yeah, no stream this weekend, because I'm streaming today. I know, I think I have a schedule, actually, finally, and I list it, so I list Saturday as, like, an optional streaming day, because if I ever want to go up to three times a week, uh, that'd be a good day to do it, spread out the streams and whatnot, but, um, obviously not this time. Yeah, Tuesday, Thursday is my planned schedule. Whether that actually happens is another story entirely. So it's all like movie themed, I think. So like, I don't actually know anything in Q2 past the first level and then the second level. I only know one thing, and that's there are dinosaurs. It's always weird approaching Forest Haven from this angle. It just looks kind of wrong somehow. Normally I push from the right side. I do not want to stop playing. <laughs> that's fine. Play away. Yeah, after we finished Wind Waker, I think, because I did a poll the other day, and I think we will probably try to get through Yoshi's Island after we finish Wind Waker. Um, that will be really short, probably like two streams. Dear Link, I received some golden feathers from my boyfriend who mentioned you. I've known s I'm something of a bird enthusiast, so I know how hard it must have been to get all of these feathers. I want you to be as happy as we are, Link, so I'm sending you this heart as a token of our affection. Hey. Um. Uh, 
The number feels off. I feel like I missed, like, something major. We've done two dungeons, that'd be two. And we have... Six. So that'd be our 25th, we're missing one. Yeah, we are, like, actually missing one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um... Unless there's another one that's like on a timer, where it's like you just get it later. I can go back through and figure out what I'm missing for next time, but oops. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Because again, according to the guide, you should have 20, 20... No, I'm dumb. I can't math. Um, we're fine. The next one we get is... No, wait. That is actually wrong. So it says the one in that mini dungeon that we just did should have been... 26 So that means We are missing one somewhere and I don't know where That's the problem when you try to find, follow a guide on a tiny phone is you, you miss stuff <laughs> So we're missing a treasure chart in the forest haven or forsaken fort Forbidden Woods. There are too many F places in this game. So we're gonna get that real quick. We're gonna get the Tingle statue and um... We might end there. I'll figure out where the missing piece of heart is. And yeah, we'll pick up uh, probably next week sometime. What, what do you mean by time disparity? <laughs> Actually, I'm just, I'm just letting that comment sink in. Twenty sixteen. Um, things you learn when you try to write a fan fiction. <laughs> uh, people have actually worked out the year to twenty sixteen based on the calendar. Actually, based on the calendar year, it would be twenty sixteen in terms of where dates line up. Wait, but wouldn't that mean February would be a leap year? Or am I wrong? I don't know. But I, I recall hearing people say it lines up with uh, 2016 year wise, so I'd go with that. Akira is older than Minako in PQ2, but younger than her by several years IRL. That's not confusing at all. Cause Minako's a second year, right? Wait, wouldn't, wouldn't they be the same age? Or is Minako a first year? <laughs> yeah, now I'm kinda like, huh. <laughs> Second year in 2016, she's the first year, but she's the first year in 2009. So yeah, so wow, I completely forgot she's the second year. A uh, first year. So I, I guess she's the only protagonist who's the first year, unless P1 and 2 have first years, which I don't think they would. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure on I've heard PQ, not PQ, P1 and 2 are okay, so I might actually try to play those at some point. Just because I'm actually just kind of curious of how they are. Because I've heard very mixed things on Persona. Right, they're the three first years. So Mitsuru, Mitsuru was a third year, I think. Nakihi yeah, Mitsuru and Akihiko were third years. The others I don't remember Fuka and K 
10 was like an elementary school student. I think Shinji was also a, a third year. But don't quote me. I. Did I go past it? No, this is just a hallway. <laughs> Nothing to. Yeah, it's this room. Can you tell I have no. I don't normally do this. <laughs> Yeah, Candace, Rift, Grey. Who, are there any second years then? Because again, I just don't remember Fuka. She's the only one that I don't know for sure. Fifth grader who drinks coffee, like all fifth graders. Yeah, I went too far, I think. You go on Maru as a dog. So yeah, there are no second years then, I guess. Yeah, it's this room. I messed up. <laughs> oh, I don't usually get this one. So... Learning experience. Alright, so we need to kind of glide on over here. Uh, we have 60 bombs. I don't need to be super conservative with them. Yeah, overkill, but still. <laughs> Convenience of not swapping out items. And then in Persona 4... Everyone's a first year except Kanji, Naoto, and Misei, I'm pretty sure. So basically, Persona 5 will actually have Royal, will actually have the most... Um, have, yeah, one first year, a few second years, and a few third years. I'm trying to remember if Kanji was older though, like if he was the same age. Cause I kept sworn they went somewhere like it's implied he's like held back or something and that's why he sold first year. But I don't know if that's true. Teddy is a bear. He also doesn't go to the school I'm like, I guess. Okay, no more frame drops, of course. <laughs> now that I'm close to ending. <laughs> That's just my luck. Alright, so bottom floor. It's also very pretty. <laughs> Call me the ultimate lucky student because... That's a lie, I'm actually neither a student nor lucky. <laughs> uh... You can also just do this to get all the little guys off the platform. Kinda nice. You can't just gently float down. Never noticed that before. You both forgot. Yeah, it's like I guess that wasn't very lucky of them. Ha ha ha. Uh I, God, I still need to play I still need to play Duncan Rampa. I have one and two. Never mind, I jinxed it. In case you didn't hear it the first time because of frame drops, I jinxed it. <laughs> now we're getting frame drops because I said we're not getting frame, frame drops. So again, ultimate lucky student. Alrighty, over here. Boop. And jump. So, in the original, you have to use a Game Boy Advance for this, but uh, luckily, you can just use regular bombs in this version, so that's handy. Oh, you beat V3. I think Taba still hasn't, actually. Yeah, 
No. Oddly enough, I already know what happens since I haven't even played the game. Because I'm bad at dodging spoilers, but I'm you will get no spoilers from me. I'm gonna do a double save and quit here. I didn't quit. <laughs> mm, not a very good execution of that strat. Gonna lose a few frames. You know, the only thing that hasn't been spoiled for me with Danganronpa is the demo of V3, which is not canon. Which is just my luck. So I might stream the demo because it's different from the final game. Uh, and it's the only Danganronpa thing I haven't been spoiled on. <laughs> yeah, I. In my case, I just do it just because I know a lot of people want me to play Danganronpa something, and it's the only thing I could technically play blind, as sad as that sounds, so. It's kind of. <laughs> I might still I might still do Danganronpa 1 on stream because I do like Danganronpa 1 and it's been a while since I saw a playthrough of it. It's been f four. Okay, PAX 2016. So it's been over three, about three years since I saw Danganronpa 1. So I don't remember much except like major, like who dies. But I don't remember a lot of the in-between stuff. So yeah, um... Internet's still being wonky. Uh, so we're probably gonna end it here.